the analogy of when you play tennis, there's two types of tennis that you play. Now, I, I don't play tennis a lot. I'm not a great tennis player, so this maybe makes more sense to people who do play. But there's there's the game of tennis that's played by amateurs, and there's the game of tennis that's played by winners. And at the end of the day, it's the same scoring, it's the same court, it's the same rules. But the difference is when you look at amateurs who are playing tennis, and if you watch a game, the person that wins is the person that doesn't lose. You know, it's the person that's not making the unforced errors. It's the person that's not hitting it out. It's just the person that's hitting it back and allowing the other person to hit it into the net or the other person to make a mistake or the other person to miss their volley or whatever it might be. So as an amateur, the way you win is by not losing versus professional tennis players. You have to place the ball perfectly. You have to get that ball back in the right spot. You have to put the right spin on, you know, you have to win the match as opposed to not losing. And it's not to say, okay, you have amateur investors and professional investors, and it's the same thing there, as much as all of investors is kind of a loser's game in some sense, where the way that you win in retirement is you win by not losing. You win by not losing because when you have serious downturns like we had in 2008, when you had downturns like we had last year in the NASDAQ, where the NASDAQ lost a third of its value, if, if you're too concentrated, if you don't have the right investment strategy, if you don't have the right withdrawal strategy, if you don't know exactly what your financial game plan is going forward, that's how you lose the game. You know, you could be flying high and have several years of wonderful performance, and then all it takes is one or two or three bad years, and you, you lost. And you lost because the wrong thing happened at the wrong time, and now all of a sudden you're in this hole that is really, really difficult to dig yourself out of. If you're not playing that. If you do play not to lose, what you're doing is you're diversified. You are in an investment strategy that's going to be there for you, regardless of what the NASDAQ's doing or the Dow is doing or bonds are doing. You, you've got a well-diversified plan that's uniquely situated to you and your personal goals. And because of that, you're going to have some bumps. You're going to have some, some volatility along the way but it's not going to derail you. You're still gonna get the ball back over the net. You're still gonna return it. You're still gonna stay in the game. And by doing that, that's what's going to allow you to win the game. And so the, the tie into retirement is when you're in your working years, all that really matters is your average rate of return. Can I get another, you know, whatever it is, can I capture all the return of the market? That's all that matters. In retirement though, that's only part of what matters. The other part is staying in the game because even if you have a great long-term return, like you might have on the S&P or the NASDAQ, if you go through a couple few years of really bad performance and all of your money is there and you don't have a great investment or financial strategy, that's all it really takes to derail you um, in a pretty significant way. So I know that was 